In one sense, I think it's good that he said what he thought. And the reason why I think it is good, because there does seem to be a sort of what I would call almost collective amnesia about how it is that people of colour kind of came to certain parts of the world. What did you make of that? I think that's pretty ridiculous, I've got to be honest with you. I think there is um, an issue that we, there's, a, there's an elephant in the room, right? And the elephant in the room is the transatlantic slave trade and colonialism, which nobody ever wants to talk about, despite the fact that it's one of the most significant and horrifying points in history, probably in the entire existence of None of those people were ever compensated in any way whatsoever. In fact, what happened was the governments, even in the United Kingdom, actually compensated the slave owners as opposed to the people who were enslaved. And the problem with that was that we didn't actually deal with any of the psychological trauma, not just to people of colour, but also to Caucasian and white people who lived through that, who might have participated in it and who might have not actually believed in it. None of that has been discussed. We don't discuss it in our education system. We have things like Black History Month, which are like thrown on at the end, which should be part of our curriculum so that all of us understand this is what happened in history. This is why these people are here. And I really feel that that would reduce the amount of xenophobia. You're talking about figures of like 65 million in today's money. You're talking about figures of like 83 million. That was capitalism as we know it is built on the back of slavery. Because pre-slavery... <laughs> ..in the 17th century, things like banking really only existed in London. It didn't really exist outside of that. And it was actually invented uh, for merchants and for traders because they needed to borrow to be able to go and exploit human labour. and. Many of the banks that we use today, whether it's Barclays or it's Lloyd's or it's Chase, they are still benefiting. Many families, whether they like it or not, are living off the proceeds of crime, essentially. So the reason why I mention this is because I don't believe that human beings in their nature are born to be bad people or are born to be horrible people. I think that a lot of the time, the fact that the, the governments and the, so pe the people that... that um, control us to a certain extent have chosen to kind of operate this collective amnesia and not educate us properly on what has happened, how it's happened and how it's affected people has actually led to this vilification of people of colour which we still live with till this day. Come on,